Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we're playing World of Waves 2. We are still continuing our French campaign. It's currently February of 1950, and we've been at war with Austria-Hungary for six months, but, um, well, two episodes ago, Germany joined, and in the middle of last episode, Italy joined. So, between those three and myself being allied with Great Britain in the United States, we have ourselves a good old-fashioned world war. And we're kind of paying heavily for that. We're blockaded. But, uh, oh, we are no longer blockading Austria-Hungary. Well, shit. That's... that's a thing. Anyways, let's... let's do what we can to try to end this war maybe on a positive victory point note I need to be a lot more careful hmm so Germany is invading Corsica well that's that might not go so well. It depends on what we have. Oh. Well, okay. German Navy declined the battle. And a fleet battle with Austria-Hungary. Um, I think we can do this. Unfortunately, it's off of their coast, so I don't really have much in the way of land-based air again. Ah, shit, I did forget to put an airbase over on this side of the Mediterranean. Well, let's do what we can. Hey, Great Britain helped. Helping us, helping us out. Well, we have some ships overlapping with each other. We've got the Painlev and the Baron, along with the Nice. That's not what I meant to do. Ah, we have the Anson and Renown. Oh, and we also have the Aramanches up here, along with the Dimud. And the Requin uh, over here as well. This is an older design. Anson is an all-gun uh, all forward design with 16-inch rifles which is much better and the Renown is 10 16 inch guns and a well if you've ever played World of Warships basically this is an Imagi from the looks of it well okay and what's here in the middle our heavy cruisers. Okay. We are going to ready our torpedo bombers first, because I don't think... yeah, strike exceeds deck load, so we won't do that. And, of course, a fighter escort for each. Okay, so those are being readied. Mm. That does not exceed the deck load. So we will ready the strike for that. 
Carrier Division 38. All we have here are just torpedo bombers, so we'll get that ready. And that is it for our... Wait. Okay, we got that one. We got that one. Ah, we did not get this one. So we will get this ready as well. We don't need to be going out that far. We'll also go with heavy cap. I wonder if Italy will be joining this fight. And we'll do the two phase search. Okay. Let's get this ball rolling. We were not asked about launching catapult uh, recon aircraft. Well, the Requin has sighted something on radar. Let's actually keep them going that direction. Anson and Renown will actually move directly east to try to intercept. And these guys... Um... Let's see. I think it was 30, f no. Oh, they're not ready yet. Nobody is ready yet. Wait, didn't I ready these? Oh, okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, never mind. We'll also get our dive bombers readied. And, okay, well, we're going to have to turn south anyway. So, yeah, let's, let's do that. Move these guys northeast. We'll just keep these guys moving north to try and get a little bit closer to the action. More radar contacts. Renown, I'm sorry, Requin should probably move west. Oh, it is nighttime. Hopefully the British, no they don't, if I recall correctly, they do not have the uh, radar assisted fire control. Or do they? Naval strike is ready on the carriers, but I'm going to wait until at least twilight before launching. Well, okay. We are landing some hits. Let's move these battleships up to 20 knots.
unfortunately it looks like the Austrians do not okay airstrikes Are they traveling about this way? It seems. Now, if I go back to Division Fourteen, they are not readied up anymore. Okay. Launch strike. Coordinated strike. Launch. And Nice. Launch as well. Torpedo bomber, torpedo bomber, and dive bomber from the outer manches. Also coordinated, also launching. And then 38. There's no need to coordinate that, but I'll keep it clicked anyways. 26 nautical miles. They need to get the hell out of Dodge, I think. Okay. Shit's about to hit the fan. Hopefully for the Austrians and not us. everybody that direction except for the carriers of course I think about that direction actually that's the direction they are moving okay Requin should probably turn south These cruisers need to... actually, Isley is okay. That's... that is a large number of ships. Why did you play multiple turns? I did not... I only pressed the space bar, not the play button. Should be... Yeah, the sun will be coming up soon. And then we will have ourselves a good old-fashioned brawl. medium guns good good Charnier and Depetitua will yes two torpedoes 
And yes, these are Italian ships. This, this is a beast. And the Italia class, less of a beast. Klagenfurt, that's definitely Austrian. With the 9-inch guns, need to be careful. This is a lot of information in one turn. <laughs> oh, no. Well, our bombers are definitely doing some good work here. Look at this spread. Wow. Oh my god! Wow! Uh-oh. Deputy Toi is hit by a torpedo. How are you doing? I can't be losing too many. Oh, well, okay. And keeping everybody together like this, while it does um, invoke the possibility of torpedo strikes, it also groups up our anti-aircraft. Let's move all of the carriers together. We are really, really doing some good work here. And the Requin. Uh-oh. Shit. I don't know how good the British uh, torpedo protection is. That's two torpedoes. Oh. That's that's not much. Rear dirts are disabled. That's that's not great, but they're not destroyed either. More airstrikes coming in. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that reminds me. This, uh, this coordinating airstrikes thing seems to be paying off very, very well. We are losing aircraft, though. One's dead in the water. France Light Cruiser Division 20. Oh. Well, we're not, um, 
We're not super vulnerable to aircraft. They're not turned together. Oh, they must be avoiding aircraft. Yeah, we're not going to be chasing too hard here. How are you doing, Renown? Did I forget to... They really need to be going faster. Cosmao, huh? Where are you? Okay, still the same thing. I should probably change these to dual purpose. I think I've got six inch dual purpose guns. Oh, wait, triple turrets. I can't do it. Friant, though, that is a, uh, a CLAA. Lots of, uh, look at that. <laughs> look at that AA factor, 36. This thing is an anti-aircraft barge, which is good. Three-inch dual-purpose guns, not bad, I guess. Oh, wait, this is ours. I thought this was Galilee. But Galil, I guess? Question mark? I don't know, I don't speak French. They are coming back. Oop, easily. Come back. And squad max for a minute just to get back in line. Admiral Shawnee. That's not what I meant to do. You still have all your torpedoes. Oh, let's go ahead and authorize a flotilla attack as well. Um, it was the Conte de Cavour, yes. Hold on. Yes. But uh, that's a horrible angle there. Oh, and the Andrea Doria. They are... being targeted by the aircraft. Still approaching uh, our cruisers. Good. This is working out very nicely so far. Conte de Cavour is down, it is sunk. Let's see if we can hit this uh, Andrea Doria. The Nimbo here is not doing too well either. Oh. Requin is taking some hits, though. And the destroyer Saber has attacked a submarine. So that's a thing. Let's just go ahead and 
just go ahead and launch at the Andrea Doria. I guess. And you can go back to AI control. Enemy aircraft are, pr are approaching this. Good luck. Oh. Uh, well, these have some really large guns, but not very much in the way of anti-aircraft. But everyone else does. But they're coming in from the south. I think that is... Yeah, that, there goes a torpedo hit. Still only able to do 16 knots. I mean, max speed was 22 to begin with. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of these and authorize flotilla attack where possible. Well, I guess that was it, huh? Says 28 knots, so not going down yet. Think it's an okay opportunity to turn north. Isley, how are you doing? Not bad. Yeah, you're still catching up to the group. French Destroyer Division 19. Which one is that? Not with the main force. Oh, I guess so. Eh. Oh, the sea state limits float plane ops. Oh, strong breeze. Yep, that'll do it. And the niece. Yeah. There's, there's definitely some, uh, some cap. Dive bombers are not back yet, so we will ready them. Ready these. Wow, a lot of them got damaged or destroyed there. I should have put heavy load on all of them, because... Yeah, that's a thousand pounds of armor-piercing bomb right there. Half a ton. Short boys, I guess. <laughs> Go 
Oh, the niece is avoiding torpedoes. No, France or French cruiser division twenty four. Carrier Division 18. Well, we've been found. Requin is hit by two torpedoes. Well, she's going to go down. Yep, this is a huge, f nice, this is a huge full-blown fleet battle right here if I've ever seen one. Not quite Tortuga worthy, but, uh, yep, there goes the Requin. Do you have torpedoes? You do! But you can't fire anymore. Okay, so it looks like we have all of our uh, strike groups ready. Now, which way? They're northeast. up here that one's not ready that is ah That's it for that. Not very many aircraft left in the dive bomber group. Yeah, our planes have been torn apart a bit. Where are our battleships, though? Don't really have them. I guess they're still too damaged. Yes. We'll let the destroyer pick up the survivors. Ah, Deputy Toi is hit by another torpedo. That kinda sucks. A yes. Is that all for the There they are. South southeast down the coast. 
So then these guys have been actually pretty effectively screening, but... Um, everybody will just take a hard turn to the right. Requin is down. Well, it's a good thing I turned when I did, huh? That's a lot of dive bombers shot down. Which is good. Sure. I don't think that's a battleship. Shooting down some planes. Oh, it is a battleship. Carrier Division 18 sure does seem to be targeted a lot. Aircraft approaching my fleet carriers. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of planes all over the place. 58 heavy AA factor. And then a shit ton of, uh, smaller. So hopefully we'll be able to not burn down this time, but I don't think there's going to be any uh, strike aircraft readied on the deck. Good. We are making some good work here. I need to get those carriers. How do I check on that? There's a way I can click on this and it'll give me a blue line. Well, that was almost nice. The niece has been hit. Which isn't good. Holy shit. Well... That sucks. I think uh, the damage that she sustained is going to end up... Um, huh, Reckon was hit again. Good. Yeah, Nice probably will not be able to operate aircraft anymore. Oh shit, you are still... actually... Yes. You scout for those carriers. You still have torpedoes on your port side. Noted. Ah, 
aircraft all over the damn place. The Petit Trois has less than 50% of heavy AA ammo remaining. That's not great. Ah, shit. Can only do a. Oh my god, you're going down. That's what I get for not paying attention. Anson is hit by two torpedoes. One is a dud. Also, you can't deploy smoke. What was I going to do? Let's just have you go one knot as well. Turn north, Trode. Yes. Uh, you need to slow down cruise speed for a bit. We are just delivering a oh no yeah yes everybody launch float planes when and where you can That was a lot of torpedoes that the Renown was avoiding. Mosquito. At least it's British. Of course, northwest. I need to find these damn carriers and fast. Let's actually let these cruisers wait for the battleships. Sinking Cotillus has been hit by another torpedo. Ah, uh, Deputy Tuar is sinking. And I should have some available dive bombers. I forgot to get those ready. I think. I think I want to send them in the direction Not going to show me the line, huh? Okay. Launch them as soon as you possibly can.
Yes. Oh, the Italia class. Okay, Epi. You are going to fire at the Italia. Twice. Now you can go back to AI control. And the Lafayette is now avoiding torpedoes. The mood, you should head back with your comrades. Good. Better. Hmm. Is that gonna... Nope, those are heading north. Actually, it might be the carriers. That might be the carriers. Might not, though. There's a lot up here. What do we have? These guys are going pretty slow. Oh, that's a Corvette. Oh, it's raining. Well, I'm glad I got that strike off when I did. Ah, uh, the dive bombers. I don't know if they had a chance to take off or not. Ooh, that's not what I need to be going up against. Anson, you are not doing quite so well. Um, you definitely need to slow right the hell down. How is the Renown doing? Better. But you should probably also take it easy. What do we have here? It's up here. Ah. 
Ah, yes. Radar directed fire control for the win. We are starting to run low on ammunition. Um, why are you going 18 knots? Wait, not the Renown. Anson. Oh, that's a heavy cruiser. That one, yes. And turn north. Maybe? Ah, we'll never know. Um, it's time to get out of here. With the battleships, at least. I think three light and one heavy cruiser will be able to take on whatever, uh, carriers we come across. Everything else seems to be right properly fucked. On on the enemy team, I mean. I mean, yeah, we, we took some losses, but they are taking heavier losses. This looks like a bit of a kamikaze run. This is probably where the Renown gets hit. We'll slow these guys down and let the uh, Shania uh, catch up. That's actually a lot of light vessels. Where are these carriers? I saw the aircraft, or are they heading to an... Were they heading to an airbase? They might have been heading to an airbase. Have I been chasing... Just whatever? Um, I'll just put these guys on AI control. I didn't even realize they were down there. Yeah, my strike aircraft have not found the carriers. 
my radar has not found the carriers unless it's this it might be I don't know it's going very slow whatever the hell it is I think I think after this ship is shot to shit and back, um, we'll just get the hell out of Dodge. Ah, shit. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Well, take that, Klagenfurt. Really? Just one? Are you kidding me? Well, fine then. Take some auto-loading 8-inch guns. Now it's heavy rain. That's severely going to limit air ops. All right, fuck it. Whatever. Everybody go home. It's going to be dark soon. And everybody has been fighting for a good long while. I wonder what that is. It's coming in hot. And because of all the <laughs> emerging and disappearing radar contacts, I won't be able to play. Oh, never mind. I stand corrected. Flooding is down to six. Let's let everybody go eight knots. Now we get a blue line. Okay. Ultra fast. And the Charnier is sinking. Awesome. Ah, uh, 
should I? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, that's just showing you. Yep, it's getting dark. Everybody go home. I think we scored some very crushing blows at the loss of one battleship and one light carrier plus a heavy cruiser. Ah. Yeah, they had... When did we damage carriers? Huh. Well, okay. I guess with their strikes, where the hell were they? Anyways, um, it looks like we came out definitely ahead here. Uh, Austria-Hungary's forces, all of the battleships were sunk. So yeah, this... So Corvette, Corvettes, Corvettes, more Corvettes, the Maros, I guess everybody else went to port, yeah, alright, that went well. French minor victory, but we are now ahead in the victory points here. So that's good. Combat reports indicate that our standard aerial torpedo has serious deficiencies. May I respectfully remind you that you endorsed this model a couple of years back, sir. Um, do whatever it takes to fix the problem. Hey, we've got we got an elite air unit. Good deal. Um, more resources to prepare for an offensive that will shift the strategic initiative. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Oh, wow, we are over an hour into this episode. Um, yay, food is becoming scarce. We're losing stuff. Hey, we didn't lose the Freant, but she will be out of... And the Sirkov. Uh, out of commission for three months each. Yay, the Italians lost a Corvette. This is... Wow. North Carolina has been sunk and the German Tiger. Well, okay. But yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment. Feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.